impartation is real graces are transferable graces represent the platform for possibilities in this kingdom and it is never God's intention that single individuals remain with certain possibilities without the body experiencing it are we together now yes that it is possible that a man can come and have an encounter with a grace a dimension you did not come with and you see the thing about graces is that they speak immediately if it is not on you it is not on you as simple as that and so i'm praying that tonight we will sustain the meekness and the discernment to recognize that this is more than a man this is more than logic this is a platform to really pour into someone for someone you came here you've been praying and fasting probably a pastor saying lord give me the visitation that will take me to the next level for someone you're in politics and governance and you came by invitation let me give a kind counsel do not stand wondering if god will bless you do not stand wondering if god will lift you if god will heal you there are people here sick really sick trusting god for miracles and you know sometimes we can get used to pain we can get used to limitations and then we become like the israelites in the wilderness can god make a way this god we're talking about is a mighty god this god we're talking about was not voted into power there is no parliament that sustains the intelligence to vet and judge him we're talking about the monarch of the universe are we together just one prayer and then we'll be seated father my faith i reach out to you tonight that every grace every possibility that should be delivered to my life and my destiny i obtain by faith make it a cry in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Please be seated. Apostle Goodhart, sir, thank you. It's always my honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight I want to share a very simple but a deep spiritual secret and then we'll pray. In every generation, it seems as though God would usually find a handful of people and invest such dimension of his power, his grace. My God, there are, there are mighty angels in this place. There is such an activity of the Spirit such an activity of the spirit i'm going to teach but please just be sensitive don't just listen discern the bible says while peter yet speak these words it says the holy ghost fell fell on all day that heard him i believe that there are all kinds of impartations that will be happening whilst the word is coming some of them not even related to what i'm saying your hunger is just drawing from the throne dimensions of graces that must be captured in your experience hallelujah and so it seems as though even though we have people who call upon the name of the lord is as though he selects a few people and anoints them in unusual dimensions unusual dimensions and being a student of scripture and a student of history i began to find out what what exactly is responsible for this uncommon investment of the spirit upon certain individuals i wanted to know because i was interested in not only being used by god but being used to a degree that will be able to bring glory to the name of the lord and i found out that 
I met well-meaning people. I met sincere people. I met theologians. I met Bible scholars. I met zealous people. I met fasting giants, prayer warriors. But it, it seemed as though there was something God was looking for in man that most men do not have or do not live up to. And so the body of Christ, respectfully speaking, we've come up with several propositions as to what exactly God is looking for to invest his hand, his grace, his power upon an individual, upon a family, upon a ministry, upon a territory. I prayed and I cried and I said, Lord, show these things because you desire them to be revealed to the body. And through the ministry of the Holy Spirit, through the privilege of uncommon mentorship, and the election of grace i want to show you something tonight and i pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god that your eyes will be open to see and that when you find these truths and walk in it that your life will suddenly become a sign and a wonder not just that you receive not just that you pray for it i give you a guarantee as touching the name of the lord if you understand what i share with you in this church regardless i don't care what the situation is your life will become an unending and episodes upon episodes of wonders this is true you are not being taught cunningly devised fables this is a an altar that is most hallowed the truths that i teach you are not opinions it will be evil to gather an intelligent people like this and just communicate opinions these are truths that are backed up by the integrity of scripture it is true because you see we shouldn't finish such a powerful conference like this and then have us rejoice and celebrate and that may be a few miracles and go back again as though you never met him you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence that I used to be a pastor struggling to preach, struggling to teach, praying for people. They are not healed. They are not blessed. Then I come for Reha IC 2021. And then I return back on Sunday and the same thing happens. Oh no, no. This is not the God of the Bible. Even when evil spirits met him, they didn't go back the same. Are we together? It is impossible to meet the God of the Bible. Moses saw a bush that was burning and would not be consumed. He said, I will turn aside to see this great sight. And when God saw that he turned aside to see, he said, Moses, take off your shoes for where thou standest is holy ground. Moses had an encounter with him and he sent him back to Pharaoh. Not as the timid Moses who ran away from Egypt. Hallelujah. why does god do wonders i think it's important i just state that quickly why is god interested in showing up in spectacular ways in the lives of individuals in the lives of people businesses you know people in government and all of that what is it about the supernatural what what does he seek what message does he seek to trans transmit when god heals the sick when god raises the dead when god moves in unusual dimensions what is he saying because we must sustain the intelligence to discern what wonders are for number one every time god moves this is what he's saying i love you the revelation of the love of god is powerful and the character of love is that there must be a demonstration 
to attest to the fact that that love is genuine john 3 and verse 16 the bible says for god so loved the world he didn't stop there he gave his one and only then now the first of we the begotten are we together now the bible says he gave his one and only begotten son to the end that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have this life that we call zoe the life of god is beyond everlasting it's not just everlasting it's not just eternal it's a quality of life god is love so every time he shows up listen discern miracles discern signs and wonders when you discern it you will look beyond the vessel that was used there is a message every time god lifts every time god heals every time god blesses every time god opens doors every time god delivers there is a definite message from the father through his son to creation i love you the bible says write this down The love of God I'm trying to pull up a scripture. First John chapter four, that's it. First John chapter four and verse eight. First John chapter four and verse eight. It says, He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love this is a revelation i do not want you to forget for god is love and the character of love is that it sustains the ability to cast out fear perfect love the bible says casts out fear so because god is love i expect that he will give i expect that he will heal i expect that he would deliver listen the awareness of the love of god can drive doubts and fears away can god bless me is he interested in my rising or is he a selfish monarch who seeks to use me for his glory you see that idea of being used for his glory is true but it's incomplete there is always something in it for you you see the character of love is that it, there has to be a mutual benefit so whilst it is true that we do not serve him for things whilst it is true that we do not seek him for mundane things there is something in the economy of god that insists that you must know what is in that equation for you god did not keep silent as to what we stand to benefit and enjoy when we seek him he is very vocal not just about his love but the rewards that follow our loving him our trust in him hallelujah in leadership you and and this is a ministry that is so great so enlightened you have the privilege of having a visionary father and a leader in leadership one of the principles of leadership is that you you advocate and sell your vision by revealing to the people who follow you something in that vision that also resonates with their desires they must be able to find a place in your vision that was the mistake of joseph joseph came with a dream and there was nothing in that dream that was a blessing to his brothers he came and said well guys i slept and this is what i saw the sun moon and 11 stars bowing and the brother said we will kill you now you compare that with nimrod kush in genesis 11 goto he said come let us let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens and he mobilized a vast army that even the devil could not resist it took god himself are we together so i'm saying that the character of love is that there is mutual benefit so when god comes and shows up in mighty ways to save to heal and to deliver is more than the miracle there is a message i'm saying this because in a few minutes we're going to be celebrating the spectacular hand of god once again there will be a convocation of his hand and his presence in this place and whilst you celebrate and whilst you rejoice whilst you cry and praise him remember there is a message the message is love 
a revelation of the love of God. He said, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you. God is not ashamed to declare his vulnerability. In spite of the worship in heaven, in spite of the glories of heaven, he gets distracted by this object, this, this, this entity called man. I can imagine him sitting on his throne and the four and twenty elders and all the worship happening in heaven. All of a sudden, he's no longer giving them his attention. And heaven is wondering, where is he? No wonder the psalmist said, what is man? What is this man? Can't you, can't you end this race of humanoid species and then build another one? What is a man? Read the Bible and see the love of God man would violate his ordinances and be given to their enemies and even in their depravity they would not call for help and his love his vulnerability would not allow him let man go through that thing he will raise a prophet to say okay man we can talk you come i will come i mean what a what what a vulnerable display of love listen it's a revelation that changed my life we live in a very evil time to find people who love you sincerely is hard so when you have a revelation that the monarch of the universe is in love with me wow i'm no longer a slave to fear i am a child of god when god loves you he does not give you things he gives you his heart that is the gift you get from a lover not things whoever loves you and just gives you things is cheating you true love is culminated when you get the heart because whoever owns that heart whoever has access to that heart has all things so tonight the first message why wonders the reply i love you i am desperate and vulnerable enough to come even though heaven is my throne but i will show up for as many times as you gather to let you know that i love you very powerful revelation the love of god john chapter 10 and verse 10 he says the thief cometh not but for to steal it says to kill and to destroy he said i am come that ye may have life as proof of my love and not just to have life but to have it more abundantly tonight anything that does not look like more abundance you have a responsibility to fight it until your life looks like the garden of eden a, a reflection of the beauty and the splendor are we together yeah. he does wonders to reveal his love number two he does wonders to reveal his might and his power to men and to creation there's a weakness in men the weakness is that we forget this is not memory loss it's just that men forget so every once in a while god will step into the affairs of men and do something spectacular he will do something and write on it signed like you know how julius berger will build you can always know well if you have a construction company plus your own too you know <laughs> i'm not just talking about julius berger alone but just for an example you can know the blocks made from julius berger because they will throw it up it won't break and then there is a little signature b don't be confused they made this so there is something god does in your life and then he signs a signature that the doer is god so there is no confusion because human beings have this this intelligent way of stealing through efforts that did not come from them and receiving glory for it and so god writes this breakthrough sign yahweh this is my signature this lifting signed yahweh these open doors the bible says in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 now unto him who is able able not just willing there are men who are willing 
brothers and sisters look at me our world is full of people who are willing willing to help willing to bless they would tell you if i have the resources i would i wouldn't spare to lift you thank god that our god does not just have the will he has the power el shaddai the multi-breasted one and so he shows up to remind men that he is almighty almighty the bible says in psalm 24 and verse 1 the earth is the lord's and its fullness thereof the resources number three the walls the systems and number four they that dwell therein four things the earth the resources the systems and the inhabitants they all belong to him this is the god of the universe the earth is the lord's no contention the earth is the lord's the bible says he upholds all things by the word of his power this is the god who will lift you this is the god who will heal you this is the god who will bring you listen so when you know this you you are you are given the allowance to vet him god is not afraid to allow men vet him check my antecedents he parted the red sea hebrews 11 archives this men who were used by god to walk wonders he says time will fail me to talk of gideon jephthah barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouth of lions he says men whom the earth was not worthy of God is almighty. God is almighty. God is almighty. He does not sit on his throne scratching his head wondering what to make out of our situations. No. He's called the ancient of days. I believe him. This is the God I serve. So when I stand before a mountain, it may be older than me, but there is one older than it. When I stand before a situation, it may look bigger than me in the flesh, but there is one bigger than it. Oh, this is what David knew. He stood before Goliath and Goliath said, what disrespect. Israel, is this what you will do to me? Am I a dog that you bring a little boy, a teenager with a sling? David said, you come to me with your bows, your spears, but I come to you in a name. Haris Kalibra Katosiata. I come to you in the name. The might of God. It's a revelation I want you to hold for the rest of your life. Because situations and circumstances have a way of bullying men. They bring you to a point where you are perplexed. You are wondering, can anything good come out of my life? The almighty God. Savior. He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. The author of salvation. Sing it one more time. Savior, Savior. He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. The mighty God is called. Once upon a time, an arrogant king commanded that a gold statue 90 feet tall be built. And at the sound of the instruments of music, that everyone in the entire Babylon would bow to him. And some young boys came and said, Oh king, we love you, we respect you, we are taught to honor. But as touching the matter of might and superiority, we are sorry to tell you we will not bow. They were thrown into a furnace of fire. All of a sudden, they saw four men. The likeness of the fourth, the Bible says, was like the Son of Man. And then the Son of God. And it says, these were men who the fire had no power over. Hmm. 
the mighty God. There's something about the might of God that needs to be reintroduced to us and be reintroduced to this generation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus My Jesus conquered the grave. Sing it over every situation in your life. He rose and conquered the grave. Over your finances. He rose and conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever on the Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? Oh cancer, oh fibroid, oh blood condition. Do you not know that for every creature there is a creator? The Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. He was not in that heavens. He was not in that earth. Where was he? Ah, When Job at the height of his predicament Job 38 the Bible says he summoned God and God came in a whirlwind and said who is this man that darkened counsel without knowledge? Gird up thy loins as a, a man, and I will demand of thee. Question one, where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? This is the God that we serve. Declare if you have understanding. You know, sometimes when the pride of the kings of the earth reach a particular threshold, God, whether invited or not, he will stand up and shake himself and remind them again. That there is a king ah. he rose and conquered the grave ah this this revelation is doing something to me he rose and conquered the grave that's why you will be healed tonight he rose and conquered the grave So when a man tells you over my dead body for you to rise tell him be careful that's a dangerous statement because you are about to die you just numbered your days he rose and conquered the grave he rose and conquered the grave we're talking of the mighty god here once upon a time an arrogant woman embarrassed her husband who is called king ahasuerus a king over 127 provinces being banished from the palace there was a vacancy and they began to call on all the young women and a young village girl called hadassah from shushan mordecai her uncle said why don't you go and try paradventure with god The Bible says she came and joined all the city girls and was kept under the custody of Haggai, the keeper of the king's concubines. And Haggai gave her a suggestion. He said, I know this king. I know what he's looking for. I've worked with him a long time. Focus on this oil. Keep rubbing it on your body for one year. Allow the other women to do what they, whatever they have to do. The Bible says, Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the B part. It says, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. What a grace. Then you go to verse 17. The Bible says, when the king loved Esther above all the women, Amen. she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins as a result he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti when God tells you I will lift you I want you to know that this is how God works he does not speak until he verifies that he has the ability to make it come to pass 
so if god ever makes a declaration he's vetted himself and found out that it is within his capacity to make that word come to pass let me tell you a few things he said about you that if you shall diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that he commands you this day there is a promise that he will exalt you above the nations of the earth and that these blessings will come upon you and overtake you is it in your bible number two that your path should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day do you believe that number three that when men say there is a casting down that's already an information that you are not a normal man because he didn't he said when men something about his presence in your life has translated you from a man to something else this is what i believe a display of his might in and through my life because if it is the Lord's doing it must be marvelous it must be marvelous ah. you are marvelous yeah. you are marvelous yeah. you are marvelous yeah. marvelous yeah. sing it just one more time you are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. The Bible says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream let me prophesy to someone i stand tonight in the name of jesus and by this grace and i declare to you what god will do in your life from tonight it will be like a dream i speak it over your life i speak it over your family i speak it over your business in the name of jesus please sit down I believe in the might of God I believe in the power of God there are things that only God can do that God will so invest his grace upon your life and things will begin to come to you there is such a grace that was the grace that came upon Noah and his ark he didn't go to look for the animals there was something on him that made them come two by two seven by seven let me release that grace on your business on your ministry the grace that compels men to come from everywhere to acknowledge the workings of God in your life I stand by the God of heaven and I declare from tonight take that grace from tonight take that grace from tonight take that grace take that grace do wonders with that grace in the name of jesus christ please sit down the might of god we had the opportunity to visit very briefly after the morning service the facility that god is building for himself for this ministry and it was a wonder to behold there are things when you see, you know this is God. There are things when you see, you know this is intellect. There are things when you see, you know this is just the wisdom that comes with time. But there are things when you see, you know that this is God. The might of God. Number three. Why wonders? why does god do wonders i will tell you because signs and wonders signs and wonders according to john chapter 4 and verse 48 miracles signs and wonders provoke men to believe not only that there is a god but to receive of this gift of salvation without the ministry of signs and wonders the global harvest will not be a reality we live in a world where people seek for signs they want to see the outstretched arm of god god does wonders so that there can be the end time harvest especially at this time it is his desire that all men be saved and everything he will have to do 
was it not the miracle listen was it not the miracle of the fish that made peter to say i am a sinner john 21 remember little children have you any catch he said no he said cast your net to the right side and when they caught fish so much they had to beckon on their partners to help them and discerning it was jesus he came and he said depart from me there is something about the spectacular manifestation of the power and the grace of God that is able to bring men to their knees. They know that truly there is a savior. I thought all that rules the world is intellect. I thought all that rules the world are principles. But now I am forced to acknowledge that there is a God in heaven. Can I tell you this? God is still in the business of winning souls. God is still in the business of seeing to it that the nations come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. As it rises on us, ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your life. I believe that we are stepping into seasons in the church age where nations will be saved in a day because of the dramatic demonstration of the power and the grace of God. Is it not written in your Bible that a nation can be born in one day? That it is possible to win more souls than all the crusades in a year in one moment. Charles, I think it was late Charles and Francis Hunter who said that one spectacular miracle is worth a thousand words you can talk to people and convince them jesus heals jesus saves jesus delivers and they look at you as an intelligent lecturer clap for you where necessary but when the power of god when jesus came to announce his messianic prophecy in luke chapter 4 he it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah the prophet and he began to read from from verse 15 downwards he said the spirit of the lord is upon me he said for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to set at liberty them that are bound to declare the acceptable year of the lord and he closed that book and said this day is this scripture fulfilled he would have gone to sit down no that's not the god of the bible woman with your withered hand he said stretch it forth when jesus showed up he turned that city upside down miracles upon miracles miracles upon miracles now there are people who downplay the miraculous simply because it's been exaggerated and exalted above the word the miraculous must never be exalted above doctrine and above the word however to push it aside is a joke now if i by the finger of god that I've done this is an announcing that the kingdom has come to you. I believe in miracles. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Many years ago, Apostle Sir, the Lord performed, I think that would be the first spectacular manifestation of the hand of God that I saw in my life and I would say through the ministry there was a gentleman who had his his spine now I'm not a doctor and they labeled the spine and this this gentleman had damaged the spine they were waiting to ship in some doctors from India to come and perform a very delicate surgery there at the teaching hospital in zaria 
and then i had an opportunity to talk with this gentleman in the night by call then phones just people just started having access to phones and then i called him and i told him i said do you believe now looking back honestly i don't know if i believed it will happen or not sometimes it's good to not know what you are praying about just pray quietly because you if you are aware of the gravity of what you are praying about it may dampen your faith i prayed over that gentleman and i stand before god i lie not he may be somewhere in the world following this teaching today when i spoke over him i had a loud shout he had um this brace uh, they call it something that they hook they just hold the neck so it doesn't move and then this guy he found a way of losing it and began to shout with the phone on he ran to the mother's room and the last thing i heard before the phone was off was jesus and that was it you know how people come to greet when someone is bereaved that's what happened in their house the next day people came and said what in the world is going on who did this they said one gentleman like that who is he when i saw the x-ray myself and i saw the gentleman who had been healed i said only a fool will say in his heart there is no god listen we need a display of signs and wonders please hear me with all due respect if you're a ministry here contend for the grace this is a time when if you do not genuinely walk in signs and wonders, be ready for empty pews. People will not come for nothing. There is a hunger that is driving men to experience the God of the Bible in a way that is more than theory. Hallelujah. Do you know, that's not even the story. When this guy was healed, all of a sudden, I think over... It would be over the next one month i got calls almost every day from doctors in the hospital apostle sincerely i'm struggling with something i learned a lesson people have problems but they must vet your ability to help them before they open up i was amazed at how many people just laugh whereas there are myriads of problems and i made up my mind that i did not want a powerless ministry God, do not send me with only a sermon. No. He says, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power, not just the message, the power, the power. I said, Lord, as you send me from nation to nation, grant me grace to follow the path of our fathers, men and women who kept nations at a standstill. One time I watched the, the crusade, of tl osborne and i was in tears spectacular manifestations of the power of god to the point that the, the government would come together i know there was a nation that despised him and before he went to be with the lord they came together as a nation and invited him to apologize publicly ah. we need to return the reality of the power and the grace of god There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search through all eternity, Lord, and find there is none. There are many of us who have loved ones who have refused to give their lives to Jesus. You love them, they love you back, but they will not get born again. Do you know why? There is something about your Christian experience that has failed to capture superior dimensions of the power, the grace, and the glory of God. Do you know what made the jailer? Remember, Paul and Silas, when the jailer saw that spectacular manifestation, he was about to kill himself and he said, no, 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 we are fine. And that was the harvest. The church, the, the birthing of the church was a miracle. It was a sign and a wonder. 
the bible says now when the day of pentecost was fully come it says they were gathered together in one accord suddenly there was a sound always starts with that sound as of a mighty rushing wind then they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire it came and sat upon them are we together in one day three thousand people were saved it's my desire that the global harvest that is delaying the coming of christ oh yes he will not come until this gospel of the kingdom is preached as a witness to all creation then the end will come the end does not depend on him it depends on our mission that is scripture so we can look forward to and hasten the day of his coming to the degree to which we see the nation saved i pray that by this talk before we begin to pray that god will use this opportunity to plant a burden a burden for the nations a burden for the nations we're not good do you know the way our world now you can't even stop someone to preach because they can say you are a terrorist or something and arrest you and you will go to court that means there has to be an alternative system one-on-one -on -one evangelism right now the times that we live in is making it almost not possible you stand you are talking to someone and he says what are you telling my daughter you stand you're talking to someone you say ah no 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 last week that was how someone came in the name of jesus and robbed us go away so people will not listen here's the great commission he says go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every to all creation he told you the assignment go he told you what to do preach he told you who to preach to men and creation but he never told you how there has to be a display and and a display of signs wonders there's gonna be a great awakening it's a prophecy there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus they will be saved when 10 dead people come back to life in one week and while that is happening 50 jobless people in one week receive supernatural jobs jobs that glorify Jesus while that is happening you have 19 sets of triplets coming back to back these are the kinds of don't, don't release your faith for I'm, I'm talking of superior things now let me see who will come and stand and watch that plethora of the manifestation of the power of god and say it was stage managed no they are called notable miracles are we together while that is happening you go to bed wondering where will my rent come from and you wake up with a text message come and meet me somewhere in abuja and the person who said the lord said for the sake of the kingdom let me give this to you and he said please if it's a scam if you are joking if it's april fool just tell me say no 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 i was led lord pour out your spirit on all the nations of the earth let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy show your mighty power reveal the secrets of your heart lord our faith is rising let creation see the coming of your name there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening 
and everyone who calls on Jesus they one miracle of a popular madman was equal to the salvation of ten cities one miracle of a popular prostitute was equal to the salvation of several people is it in your bible yes sir as the time draws near more than our messages we must trust god for a reign of the spirit not just falling down and standing up that is for church a demonstration of the power of god it was our father of blessed memory archbishop benson idahosa who stood over a city and declared that a conference that will honor satan would not hold ah lord restore the days of power back to the church genuine power when moses stood before pharaoh he didn't talk for long he allowed the mantles to keep speaking we are talking too much is the reason why the world has no value and regard for the investment of god upon our lives again when our words become few and the signs become multiplied then the nations will come to their knees again and i know in the name of jesus that in our lifetime we'll see jesus exalted again that signs and wonders will be wrought in the name of his holy son to the end that souls be saved to the end that the harvest the harvest is wide do you know we have over i don't know how many people are on earth currently now i know it's getting close to eight billion i hope i'm right did you know that there are just about maybe about two million or a little over two million people professing christians i don't mean as a religion people who have had the opportunity to hear the gospel and to give their lives to jesus you calculate that if you were god will you come back no there is a big burden i know you want to receive but let's let's share the father's heart a bit this is more than just the issue of miracles and signs and wonders this is more than the issue of a man of god being powerful there is a hunger in the heart of the father it is his desire that all men be saved let me tell you god will pour out every dimension of grace we need to see that this global harvest is a reality there are people in this city who do not call upon the name of the lord they don't care they hate god and they are proud of it nothing has happened enough to compel them hmm. we have prayed we have spoken we have written books it's time to demonstrate the reality of the power the grace of god like many of you have received on this platform you will never forget reha ic do you know why you may forget what i'm teaching now but you can't forget what god did for you encounters come see a man that told me everything i have done this is why god is revealing himself as the god of wonders but very quickly haven't established the reason why miracles and wonders happen there is a key one key that i want to share that i believe has limited the absence of it in the life of a believer the absence of it in the life of a church the absence of it in the life of a family a business will limit the manifestation of the power of god please open your heart and open your spirit more than your fasting more than prayer more than bible study more than communion i want to give you a key that when you hold this key you have held the heart of god and he will show up again and again as though he owes you his presence it is true i know this the key i have found 
that controls the outstretched arm of God over the life of a believer is the purity of your motif. The purity of your motive. Believers, please listen. People are following from different nations. There are pastors, there are leaders. Listen to me. More than fasting, as important as that is, more than prayer, more than organization, more than sincere hearts, the principal determinant, the principal determinant, is the sincerity and the purity of your motive jeremiah john 17 and verse 1 for time's sake i may not go to jeremiah john 17 and verse 1 jesus is praying now he lifted up his head and the bible says he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour is come glorify thy son why that thy son may glorify thee increase my ministry why there is a question you must answer in the realm of the spirit to command the hand of god the question is why lord i need an impartation of grace it is available but why lord i need to have the kind of visibility that will cause the nations of the earth to see that is available why this question why seeks to probe the motif there are so many believers who have the stamina to stretch through spiritual activities but they find out that regardless the fact that they are engaging in correct spiritual activities working in keeping with the principles that scripture said should deliver certain results they still do not find that result i tell you the missing key something about the corruption of our hearts something about the insincerity of our motives it doesn't mean we are bad it just means we are men there is a weakness in men the tendency to want to be praised the tendency to outshine the tendency to make a name men historically have been obsessed with power obsessed with control obsessed with a, a show of superiority and some of us come from backgrounds listen carefully some of us come from backgrounds especially sadly speaking and respectfully so as a continent you see when you come from a background of deprivation it can affect you because there is a lost an appetite to prove a point and that becomes a hindrance to genuine power and genuine grace so someone told you you would never be anything and now there is that itch lord grant me an anointing that will make everyone call me joshua selman and so you, you you like it so that they will know it's amazing what motivates us i want to become a senator why so that people will know the politician who said i cannot become it that's too small a reason let me tell you this until kingdom come is found in your desire god is not interested write this down until kingdom come is found in your desire no matter what you ask for god is able to give provided there is kingdom come my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised truly that you be praised it's my one desire that you be praised that you be praised i think it was freka umar that sang if it's not in your presence if it's not by your word if it's not by your spirit 
don't let me have it for everything I need is in you if it's not in your presence if it's not by your word this is my version now if it's not for your glory don't let me have it for everything I need is in you. Listen. Some of the people who have been greatly used by God in, across the nations, they never had a desire for fame. They never had a desire for ministry. When I started ministry, I never knew, I wouldn't have believed that a man could preach and they would count maybe money or a gift and say thank you. It was strange for me that you would preach and someone would bring a basket of fruits and say thank you. Wow. My desire was, is, and will always be to see Jesus revealed, to see Jesus glorified, to see Jesus revealed, to see Jesus glorified if in the course of doing that he chooses by his greatness and his majesty to grant me an opportunity to experience what it means to be blessed to be lifted to be honored i receive with thanksgiving with but then my eyes remains focused i tell you sincerely i stand before god and i am sorry if i sound arrogant it has never been my desire for fame for some of these things no never i came from a very conservative background so it, it that that desire is not even something that territorially it's not something that that i'm accustomed to let me tell you there are many pastors there are many leaders there are many business people when the spirit of grace comes over your life he finds activities that are correct but a motif that is corrupted there is lost hidden let me just manifest and no man of god will be able to talk to me again let me just manifest and i will look at apostle Gutard and say are you not preaching i'm preaching too are you not healing i'm healing too and and god says no 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 no. i love you too much to lift you i have vetted you and i found out that the safest position for you is where you are not every delay is demonic there are things that are done by god as an act of his mercy Father, what is it about a land that you cannot give me? There is nothing you cannot do. You are correct. What is it about a door that you cannot open? What is it about a miracle that you cannot give me? But every time the spirit of grace comes, it says that this family is filled with a desire. And you see, the thing about lust is it can hide for a long time. Don't be mistaken that just because it has not manifested yet, it doesn't mean it is not there. Hiding for when an opportunity is provided. There are people today that from the day they heal the sick, they don't listen to anybody again. Even in church. From the day they lead a prayer, the pastor cannot talk to them again. How are you, sir? What do you mean by that? The same Lord is rich unto all, they say. Nah. The Lord told me something many years ago. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. We live in times when we desire the celebrity lifestyle to be the center of attraction. <laughs> oh. I'm sure there are some of you, one, while you see the men and women of God and people who are deserving of honor filing in something in you, there's an itch. I want to be there. I want to be at the center stage. At the center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. 
at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see you see whatever motivates you to seek god is what will sustain you while you seek him if your motivation is fame the day you get it the impetus to remain a student in the school of the spirit will no longer be there because the motivation was not him the motivation was it cars fame houses these things are not wrong in themselves career breakthrough liftings you are about to experience the hand of god but i must be sincere with you as we conclude this conference can you look past those things can you push them like jacob pushed his wives his cattle and when he was alone then a man came the condition to meet him is that nothing else must stand his way you are the reason i leave you're the one for me you're the one for me He's the reason I leave. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. Church is quiet. <laughs> yes, sir. Whilst you are looking at me, some of you following online, the Spirit of God is speaking to you. This is it. This is why the breakthrough has been pending. Oh, Hannah, could this be why the child is not yet here? Because the desire is to prove to Penina you are also a woman. Until the day you align your desire to kingdom come, Samuel is not on his way coming soon. The hour has come glorify now thy son only to the end am i wasting your time let me tell you this it's a secret you ask anyone who is sincere who is being used by god mightily whether in ministry in business in career do you know i have looked at people sincerely and i have seen that there are people they as far as compliance to principles that make for success for greatness i have looked at their lives sincerely and i have seen gaps it's not like they've kept those principles 100 percent you look at their lives and you know no 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 based on the ethics of business this man should not be in this position but somewhere his desire filled in the gap his hunger for god he said well i don't have the the business connection i don't have everything but i have a sincere desire be lifted high be lifted high oh lord be lifted high for you are holy oh lord believe ten now i've had the honor and the rare privilege of having a few personal times with god's servant your father alongside his dear wife and i can tell you that all I have seen in their heart is a genuine desire for Jesus. I am amazed at the hunger. I'm saying it in the open and I'm saying it sincerely. The goodness of their hearts, the purity of their desire to see Christ revealed, to see lives blessed. You must love people more than your reputation. You must love his purposes more than the benefits that come to you. This I have seen in the life of this humble servant of God and the wife. Could this be why business is hard? Could this be why the destiny helpers are yet to show up? Man of God, I know you are a prophet. You should be prophesying to nations based on the grace God has put upon your life. Could it be 
that it was the hand of God stopping your rising. He does not stop it out of hate. He stops it out of love. I cried to the Lord every day before I would come here. I got down on my knees and I said, My Savior and my King, Your Majesty, I call Him. Now I have the opportunity to come and bless Your people again. Let it please You to flow through me and do mighty things. Make a name for Yourself. Let Jesus be glorified. Take the stage, Lord. Have Your way. I'm just a vessel truly nothing more this is not condemnation is revelation when you're done would you please take the glory I'm satisfied just to see you glorify Come in a nakane, come in a nakane, come in a come in a nakane, I'm going to make an altar call but we'll pray there is a very serious altar call I want to make now inside outside those following it's gotta be more than this it's gotta be more gotta be more it's gotta be more than this for desperate people do desperate things and we press in him it's gotta be more gotta be more it's gotta be more than this you are here and whilst whilst you are seated there inside outside or from whatever nation you're saying apostle it's time for me to win this war this war of pride this war of self it's time to really make jesus lord of my life i'm tired of being a church goer i'm tired of being around the things of god or you are here you're saying i need to be serious with god I'm going to count one to five. Please, ushers, allow them. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Those who are coming from outside, if it's possible, please give them room. I'd like you to run and come and stand here right now. One. We are desperate people. Please stand because of space. Cry before your Lord. Why did you come here? We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Two, are you running? We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Three. We are desperate people. Are you celebrating a harvest in Roger? We're tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. Help me say, it's gotta be more than this. Four. It's gotta be, gotta be. It's gotta be more than this. I've seen the God of wonders. What miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power 
at work inside of me I'm tired of the status quo There's gotta be more than this I'm tired of the status quo There's gotta be more than this There's gotta be more than this Listen, some of you are crying. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's like being called to receive an award. It's not a funeral. If there are still people, please quickly come. If this is all we do tonight, it's worth it. We used to sing an old hymn in the seminary. Must I go an empty handed, it says must i meet my savior so he said not one soul with which to greet him he is able to save to the uttermost it is a thief hear me it is the thief let her come she's running to jesus there is an encounter she's having this was what used to happen in the days of the generals when they would run by the spirit and come to jesus listen to me my dear people don't be ashamed of your tears your grace has found me just as i am empty handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love the presence I thank you for heeding to this call some of you are making this this surrender not just for yourself but for generations unborn I see an elderly man one of our fathers here I see one of our mothers here young and old together this is what happens when the god of wonders when he comes to his people i want you to lift your right hand sincerely and truly from your heart you're not reciting a poem this is a declaration don't be ashamed of your tears you're before jesus the son of the living god talk to him in one minute before i lead you to a prayer Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. I call you my Messiah, Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. But holy lead on Christ, the solid rock I stand, truly all over the ground. He sink in sand all together in concert and some of you may not be out here but you know you should be saying this prayer hold on guys some of you are following from the US from Canada you're in your home your office 
and whilst you're watching right now here at Riha IC 2021 the Spirit of God is telling you to participate in this prayer because Jesus said when he comes he will convict the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment lift your hands say this after me loud from the depth of your heart and mean it say Lord Jesus I come before you just as I am I declare that I am unable to help myself but I thank you for dying for me thank you for your blood thank you for the cross tonight I declare that you are my Savior my Lord and my King I receive forgiveness of sin I receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness I declare by the authority of Scripture that from today and forever I am a child of God I declare a new life in Christ Jesus I declare that every guilt, every shame, every sin, the past is gone. Gone forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Your majesty, we present to you the ones you died for. It's an honor to lift these ones as a trophy. The harvest from Riha IC 2021. Thank you for drawing as many to your loving arms, to your saving grace. You are able to save to the uttermost. I pray in the name of Jesus, according to the authority of scripture, that your sins are forgiven. I declare that you are partakers of the life of God. I introduce you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I pray that he will open up scripture to you. I pray that he will guide you and you will be strong and mighty. May God make vessels of honor out of you. The power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of the grave, the power of the devil is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus. Help that lady there. In the name that is above all names. From today, everything that has kept you down so that you will not serve the Lord acceptably, I release you. Walk in the newness of life. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate a harvest here. Now, someone guide me. Okay, now this is what I want you to do, all of you. For a few minutes, please, I'd like you to comply. Congratulations. You will see a few counselors just waving their hands, all of you in concert while we celebrate you. I'd like you to please move. If we could have some more hands so that we'll help them fast so they can come and join the prayer. Let's celebrate them. Roger, is this the best you can do? Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Roger, lift your voice and sing. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Me well. One more time, everybody. You have done me well. You have done. that I have a few minutes please be patient because God will finish what he started this night are we together this is our last session now please if I may request how many of you came with the, your prayer request all right so 
if if there is a way we can just facilitate the counseling with our dear people so that they can come and join because the rain is about to fall here right now in the name of jesus if pastor allows may i request that we have maybe some ushers quickly just uh, i don't know how they're going to find a way to collect these requests if you're yet to write or if you wrote something and your faith didn't add others please increase it write it down write it down we're about to pray whilst you're writing i'd like you to begin to pray you can write on behalf of your group write on behalf of your company write on behalf of your business write on behalf of your children please we're going to pray the power of god is strong in this place see ushers waving their hands you just pass it to them please pass it to end to any usher by your left and right outside i don't know if we have those who are following online you were given an email to send you were given an email to send your request if you are yet to do so oh dear can someone help me with the email what what was the email address pray for me okay so please following from whatever nation you just send your request right now pray for me at gmail.com pray for me pray for me as one word pray for me at gmail.com send it right now dot org oh i see it's not dot com it's dot org i apologize Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Hallelujah. Can I have that? Where's the gentleman that sang the, uh, what's his name now? I don't know. Where are you? Okay, so you so we, we, we'll do some work, huh? I, I, I just, I want him to sing this song. He doesn't have to come up, but please just give him the mic to let him be part of what is happening now. Together, together. Just, just this song, Holy. Almighty, worthy is the Lamb. Shalat Suman. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy.
Just wave it, someone will be there to pick it. This is the last session and I know that we have come, people have come to be healed, people have come to be delivered, people have come to receive a touch from God. We have spent time building our faith, we have spent time seeing to it that there's a harvest of souls. I want to assure you that it will not take long, God will visit you quickly. But this is my request. Please let your heart be opened for the impartation, for the prophetic words. For the sake of time, I may not have the time to prophesy to individuals so we can redeem time. But then I really want to take out time and just minister to people. There are obstacles standing your way. There are limitations all kinds of yokes the bible says acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power it says and he went about doing good healing all they that were oppressed of the devil family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven in partnership with your servant apostle good heart and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus Right now, I command those powers. Be gone right now. Release their destinies now. Bring them out, please. Release their destinies right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set on fire every altar that is not of God. Yokes of darkness, I declare, be released now. Please bring them out. Be released now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be released right now i'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women i'm seeing chains people who have been bound i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number 13. i don't know where you are but right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two 
free take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring her out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus blessing blessing who is blessing i'm hearing the name blessing you are wearing black with a black face mask all black all black is there someone like that blessing it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar here at Riha i see manteske leberekotos all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah This man, this is your wife, two of you, come. Goodness. We have to work with time, I apologize, we may not. Are you pastors? You are pastors. Your life is about to change. You Stand up. My goodness. Please look at me. Can I pray for you? Listen. You came here desiring an anointing. There is a strange grace that is going to come upon you and your wife. And in the name of Jesus, it will shift you to dimensions untold. I stretch my hands towards you by the Spirit. Drink of that wine. Right now, two of you. Take that grace. Fire. In the name of Jesus. Fire. A new dimension in ministry. I measure a thousand cubits in the Spirit. And I shift you deeper waters. Deeper dimensions of impact. In the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. I want to pray. I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic. I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people. I'm seeing some of you have prayed. Some of you have fasted. You have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest. But please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father, I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium. But there are people you are preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine. My God, I'm seeing an eagle. There it goes. In the name of Jesus at the count of three, may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that grace. Help them, help them, help that gentleman. I activate that prophetic. 
the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up all wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season the borders are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god now hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you mateus kani parahasia and it has refused to open i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i speak to that door Ephata, be open hither and tita Ephata, be open hither and tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying open your mouth and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah sir is it all right if i talk to you sir i don't know who this man is you're a man of god sir you're a pastor in this city I'm seeing you, I'm seeing Bishop Oyedepo's face on your face. Where are you coming from? Oh, it's the same man that I've been praying. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm seeing Bishop Oyedepo's face on your face. It's an impartation of the spirit of faith. I decree and declare upon you. In the name of Jesus, this man has really received impartation. So you go back to Canada, a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ this woman with the white face mask you the one looking at me yes can i pray for you is it all right if i pray for you is is it a woman of god a pastor because ah 
the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous i speak to you ma there is a there is a healing anointing i'm going to do an impartation for healing but there is a healing anointing that that is coming upon your life now from today you begin to pray i'm seeing a grace to pray even for people who are barren i stretch my hands and i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus i release that grace is it adiola or diola adiola or diola there's, there's a name like that who is that you are a worker in this ministry is there someone like that what's your name adiola come your life is about to change you are a worker she's a worker in this ministry my dear look at me don't cry in the name of jesus i stretch my hands carry grace the grace that speaks the grace that will cause closed doors to be opened i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus the lord is saying to tell you remember not the former things neither consider the things of old for in this season i'm doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit a new dimension for you in the name of jesus christ let me pray for business people there is a grace that can come upon a man and grant you access to systems and structures value is important but value is not enough it takes grace there is a grace for visibility we began to talk about that in the morning i don't know who this man is so is it all right if i pray for you Are you a member of this church, sir? You're welcome, sir. I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I pray for you? You're a member of this church, sir? Huh? Minister of the gospel. Oh, you're a minister of the gospel. My goodness. Thank you so much for coming. I want to pray for you. You are a sincere man. I'm seeing that is you see, this thing is is an election of grace. I hope you understand. We don't do this thing to mean there's, there's absolutely nothing in the flesh. It's an honor and a privilege to be dispensers, administrators of this dimension of grace. Sir, I want to pray for you sincerely. The Lord is telling me that there is an apostolic fire you're going to carry from this conference. I stretch my hands over you. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. Supernatural dimensions, I shift you by the Spirit. Step into it in the name of jesus you will never be the same you drink of this well is an ancient well very ancient you will step into superior spiritual dimensions i give life to your ministry the work that you do in the name of jesus christ you step into dimensions of grace right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ every dying business here every dead business hear the word of the lord in the name that is above all names come back to life now god is not done with this pastor and his wife who these people who came in the morning there's a grace coming on you a grace for speed both of you especially your wife a grace for speed it will never be at the frequency of men again you will step into a supernatural dimension of speed can i still pray for that grace and in the name of jesus i release speed speed help those who the power of god will come upon them and will begin to run i declare speed carry speed take that grace in the name of jesus speed in the marketplace speed in your spiritual walk in the name of jesus no more delays i shift you by the spirit of grace take that fire take that grace in the matchless name of jesus christ now if you are sick in your body we have to do this very quickly you're sick in your body sir thank you you and your wife can go back you are sick in your body come this boy come there is an apostolic grace on this boy believe me when i tell you whose child is this whose child is this your child this boy you see is a mighty man of god this boy has a role to play 
in God's end time program. Believe what I'm telling you. What's his name? No, I'm seeing his name. You call him Daniel, but Israel. Who is Israel? That's what I'm saying. You said Daniel. Oh, he's Daniel too. The name I'm seeing in the spirit is Israel. Look at me. The boy is crying. Jeremiah, remember, he says, Say not, I am a child. Spiritual things, look at the boy crying. I'm telling you, there is a mighty hand of God on this boy you see. Oh, let this boy be like the Nazarene. Let, let, let his making be like the making of Samson. Let him be a mighty man who will judge the Philistines. For the mother and for him I declare, as a woman of God is laying her hands, please, after what you take him to Apostle Goodhart, let him lay his good hand upon him. I know you think we may be wasting our time, but this boy is a treasure in the hand of God. I was about to minister something when I saw it in the spirit. Israel, in the name of Jesus, we call you a prince with God. You will do much for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Abigail. Abigail. Who is Abigail? I'm hearing a name, Abigail. Abigail. Goodness, I, 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 I wish we had time. Abigail. You are wearing like a t-shirt or so, a black one and something on it. Maybe like a coat with a black face mask. Who is that? Is there somebody like that? This is not the person I'm seeing, but I will pray with you. Abigail. You know, a lady sent me a text and said, I was calling her, that I called Martha in the morning, the morning service, and she was from another country. And she was saying, I'm the one, oh, you must talk to me. She got my number. I don't know how she got my number. And said, you must talk to me. I was in the service too. She's Abigail. You're Abigail too. Look at me, my dear. I command the power of witchcraft over your life to be broken now and to be broken forever. Release this lady and let her destiny go free. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for the sick now. I want to pray for the sick. Please, um, just, just spare me a few. Don't come out at random. I'll pray for the sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you, my dear, I stretch my hands and I pray. Where are you from? No, no, where are you from? State. Abia, State. Abia State. I want to pray for you. That what destroyed the rest will not destroy you. In the name of Jesus. For the Bible declares that we have been called out of every tribe, every tongue, and every nation. I decree and declare liberty for you. Receive that grace. Supernatural liberty by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. Now, wherever you are, and you're trusting God for a miracle, I'd like you to lay your hands right there. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Those following us from any nation at all. Something is leaving your stomach, my dear. Huh? There's something in your stomach. Verified? You know about what I'm talking about. It's leaving you now. I'm going to pray for you. I want you to check it right now. You believe in miracles. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the life and the power of this kingdom we so boast about. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus, look at what is happening to her. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. What's her name? Who knows her? Stand up. Don't worry about... Uh, look at me, my dear. What's your name? Huh? Check yourself check give her the mic do you feel pain completely check do you feel any pain check yourself look at this completely don't don't worry if you feel pain tell me you feel pain completely run run any pain turn back any pain at all is gone and gone forever in the name of jesus christ gone and gone forever it will never return again now lay your hands i want to pray I believe in the miracle walking power of Jesus. Every sickness is a call of death. And you must fight it. You must reject it.
right where you are you don't have to come out right where you are i want you to lay your hands right now please as an act of faith i want you to agree with me as i pray whether it's a blood condition it's a bone condition organ failure all across the nations of the earth release your faith here at reha ic 2021 those outside make sure you connect by faith in the name of jesus in the name of jesus agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus in the name of jesus after a loud shout the healing power of god will begin to flow someone is going to shout here loud today i don't know why god does these things it's just a sign and a wonder a loud shout and the healing power of jesus will begin to flow honestly i don't know why he does it i just follow stupidly if i would use that expression the leading of the spirit the hand of god is going to come upon someone a loud shout to the hearing of everyone afterwards i'll begin to rebuke sickness and infirmity right now it's going to be a very loud shout unmistakable the hand of god coming on someone the moment that shout comes i'm going to begin to pray for the sick and i will rebuke sicknesses we may not have time tonight to take testimonies but i'm sure that there will be a forum for us to be able to take testimonies please be patient with me you know william branham those days he was said that he would stand on stage and not be able to do anything and would say he was waiting for an angel that was assigned the angel of healing and sometimes they would wait for long later on he would just say he's come and all of a sudden miracles begin to happen sometimes god does these things as an act of his wisdom and an act of his will are we together now the hand of god is coming upon someone it's going to be a very very loud shout the moment that happens the power of god not outside in this in this auditorium right now in the name of jesus now we're ready to pray in the name of jesus christ say amen in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every spirit of infirmity i rebuke every spirit of infirmity every spirit that is back of any sickness help that person please any medical condition you don't have to bring them out if if they are just under the anointing i'm sure here is congested but in the name of jesus i rebuke that devil that is behind that situation in the name of jesus now i decree and declare be healed be healed in the name of jesus help them please be healed in the name of jesus the healing power of jesus is moving all over this congregation be healed in the name of jesus from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus blood conditions my god blood conditions the lord is healing blood conditions i'm seeing blood conditions be healed right now hiv be healed genotypes that require change be changed now be changed now in the name of jesus peptic ulcer the lord is healing peptic ulcer be healed in the name of jesus hold on i'm seeing three people the lord is healing pile a very for one of you is a very severe case of pile i stretch my hands and i declare the healing power of jesus be healed right now in the name of jesus there's someone you don't hear i don't know if you don't hear well or you don't hear completely with your left ear in the name of jesus i command that ear be open now be open now heart condition i don't know if it's heart palpitation or a hole in the heart or something like that the power of god is coming on you this lady i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on that lady in the name that is above all names be healed right now heart conditions of all sorts be healed in jesus name the lord is showing me someone just at your um what they call this now spine you know you are wearing white who is that you have severe pain 
at your spine your spine area the lord is the lord is touching that person who is that person how long has this been my friend how long has it been almost a year look at me you believe in jesus i bring you life in the name of jesus look at me in the name of jesus walk go check yourself check yourself bend down any pain any pain any pain check yourself look the, the man is even surprised check yourself any pain come on celebrate miracles roger what is wrong with this boy who brought him come can he walk come you are the covenant keeping god you are the covenant keep don't kneel please stand yahweh Mama, don't cry. You're, you're the mother? Where are you coming from? Don't, if you can't speak English, speak whatever language. There will be someone who can interpret it. Someone is it? will not take long. From Bouchy State. Oh. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still. Okay, what happened to your... This is your son. Yes. What happened to him? Speak in Hausa. Can you Hausa? Talk in the Hausa. Look at this boy's stomach. It looks like someone who is nine months. May God bless whoever invited this family. What's his name? Ezra. Ezra. Ezra Elisha. Ezra, can can he speak English? Yes. My friend, look at me. You believe in Jesus? Say after me in Jesus' name. I declare that my organs are supernaturally restored. Now look at me. Forget about your stomach. Just look at me. I stretch my hands to you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Right now. Lever kidney hear the word of the lord the bible says he upholds all things look what is happening to him in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus what couldn't he do before he couldn't move very fast my my friend okay my friend look at me leave him walk as fast as you can go don't be afraid. Go. Go. Turn back. Turn back and come. Look at this. Come on. Are you giving Jesus praise in this place? Look at. Mama is, the boy is even surprised. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Ria, I see. You are the covenant keeping God. You are. You are the covenant keeping my friend don't cry look at the boy is surprised he's even crying this is someone i saw them assisting him bringing him here you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life and I pray for you that in a matter of days, may this whole protrusion, let it go down completely. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I pray for you. You see, I'm not a woman, sadly. There are some of you who are crying. Some of you are mothers and you know what it means. To have a child like this, your whole life comes under a standstill because you have to nurse and care for a child like this. But Jesus... There's someone, I'm seeing a thermometer rise up and down. This is BP. This is something that has to do with high blood pressure. There are three of you. Madam, I hope you're not embarrassed. 
I'm seeing an anointing on you. This thing, there is, I'm seeing a thermometer go down. This is like your blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I bring you life. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I bring you life in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Every kind of infirmity. Um, I'm seeing at least four or five people ladies lump lumps of all sorts breast lump in the name of Jesus I command it leaves you now in the name of Jesus Christ it leaves you now by the power of the Holy Spirit oh dear how long have you been on that that um, how long have you been here? seven years yes. you've not been able to walk no. I walked as a child and that's it what happened to you? They said that at about three years, my grandma said I just collapsed. I became completely paralyzed. Do you feel with your limbs? Can yes. you feel? Yes, I used to walk before I got married. But the request for a fruit of the womb, I was asked to go on wheelchair. And ever since then, I can't walk again. Till now? No. Can I pray for you? Don't be embarrassed, even if you don't stand up immediately. We're not acting here. This is very serious business. Just stand where you are. Father, look upon this woman with your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have strength on your limbs? Can you feel? Huh? Madam, look at me. Did you come here expecting a miracle? Yes, I did. You believe in Jesus? Yes. In the name of Jesus, I minister to you the life and the power of Jesus. Don't worry. If you try, we're not, we're not acting at all on stage. But in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Because you believe. Life to your limbs. Try to move your limbs. Try to move your limbs. You don't have to stand. Just try to move your limbs. Is there something happening to you? Try to move your limbs. Now, Listen, someone gently try to assist her to stand. She doesn't have to move. Just assist her to stand. Are you able to support your weight? No. Keep her. Don't, don't stress her. If she's unable to support her weight, I just need to know that she's trying to support. If you feel strength on your limbs, I want them to try to hold you to walk. Do you understand? Don't put yourself under pressure. Huh? We are not acting at all. This is, this, is, this is Jesus at work. Right? But because you have faith and you are, you are releasing your heart, when you feel strength, let them try to assist you. Right? Even now or later. In the name of Jesus. Who is this? Who is there? Why is she there? She's under the anointing. She has refused to go. You can't bless it. Oh, your name is Blessing. And that's why you refuse to go. Come. <laughs> the woman refused to go. She said her name is Blessing and she's not going anywhere. Please stand up. What do you do, ma? Your blessing. The power of God is coming on one of you. Right now, as I'm speaking. I just saw, I don't know which of you, but the power of God is coming on one of you. That's the one I want to speak to first. Thank you, Jesus. No, no, no. You don't have to... Blessing is a very... Where are you from? Bogi State. Where are you from? State. Where are you from? The blessing that I'm looking for is from Akwaibom. Who is from Akwaibom? Huh? I'm from Akwaibom. You are from Akwaibom. I will pray for you, all of you. But this is the person, look at me, my dear. I don't know you all, but in the name of Jesus, the oppression that is over your life and your family, in the name of Jesus, let it come to end now. Why are they, whether you are blessing, please just stay back. These blessings will represent you in the spirit, right? So that we can redeem time. Are we together? Pray, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Otherwise, we will not leave this place today. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. That's the end of it. 
in the name of jesus christ the name that is above every name i command that spirit let her go out now i stretch my hands over all of you who have come in the name of jesus christ i declare supernatural the touch of god over your life this woman is a muslim is she oh she's a christian she just came what's wrong with her mama i'm touched let me pray for you this is an elderly woman i don't know where she's coming from where are you coming from ma okay oh i see okay just just place your hand i want to pray for you no 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 you don't have to just lift your shirt you don't have to in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands let the miracle working power of jesus touch you supernatural miracle for you right now in the name of jesus supernatural miracle for you in the name of jesus you are the lady who refused to go what's your name blessing i stretch my hands that which you desire in the name of jesus it comes upon you now let this grace come upon you by the supernatural power of the holy spirit i bless you all the blessings you are blessed in jesus name now we're, we are going to pray um our time is is gone i have to respect the time sir is it sir i can continue okay now please i want you to stretch your hands there's no time i would have shown you a place where the king of assyria began to threaten the people of god and he sent a message and he said do not think that jerusalem will be spared of this oppression and the bible says they took a letter and they brought that letter before the altar of god i want to pray wherever you are i just like you to stretch your hands prophetically these are representations of requests here as a sample there are others being collated from around the world we are releasing our faith right now that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more i'm going to bow my knees like paul said in ephesians and whilst i pray i like you to decree and declare i was going to request apostle goodhart and his wife to come up but i wouldn't want them just right where they are i think online online stretch your hands right here the man of god is making contact with the altar alongside his wife online from the u.s asia uk africa stretch your hands to your phone your screen whatever it is and i like you to believe god and whilst you are stretching your hands i like you to declare that everything written here must happen and everything that you have written that you need to wave goodbye let it leave you now and forever go ahead and pray please pray please pray please pray in the name of jesus the son of the living god you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine go ahead and pray
may I respectfully, maybe some ushers, come help them. May I re respectfully request Apostle Goodheart and his wife to just come up stage with me. He's going to make a declaration. The woman of God, our mother, is going to make a declaration. He's going to make a declaration. This is a very prophetic atmosphere. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. You can pack the request. Please believe and receive every prophetic word that comes. They will declare and then I will wrap up declaring and imparting that grace upon you. Praise the Lord. Now, please, I'd like you to discern because supernatural things are happening. There is a birthing. God has declared that is a new season and we're declaring. So the woman of God is... Yes. She's going to make declarations and I want you to receive it from this place, from this city, just for a minute or two from the depth of her spirit and the apostle over this assembly and over this, this ministry will speak and make that declaration. It's a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. Yes, sir. Go ahead, man. Father, that you will cause your breath to enter into every situation represented here today and that each one will leave in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let your breath give life to every situation represented here tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ our Lord we decree and we declare in your reign O oh God of healing of resurrection of restoration upon every grass in this field upon every situation that is lifted up before you tonight lord that you have done all things well regarding every situation you have not left one behind for your breath that gives life to every situation we thank you lord for everyone arises as an exceeding great army in the name of the lord jesus Thank you, precious Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Father, we decree and declare the end to every captivity in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every Pharaoh, every Egyptian, these precious ones here and online saw by your mercy we will see no more in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you for the parting of the red sea thank you for the season of wonders the season of unseason breakthroughs the season of forward movement the season of upward rises that are nothing but the finger of god thank you for your mercy thank you for your grace and your goodness over us all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we have given thanks amen and amen the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I stand in faith with the angels over this commission and I declare whoever must send for you to change and shift seasons in your life I stand by the spirit of grace I declare their call comes speedily their call comes speedily in the name of Jesus the Bible says the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity every trouble you have found yourself in right now by the God of heaven I decree and declare over your life that in the name of Jesus by this time next week you are out of it by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. It says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. I decree and declare every oppression over your life, over your family, over your children. We stand by the grace of God and we declare that it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare for some of you you are saying master we have toiled all night but we stand and we declare to you here at Riha IC 2021 go back again and excel 
go back again and prosper go back again and excel go back again and prosper go back again and excel go back again and prosper in the name of Jesus that the hand of Zerubbabel let me speak over projects that are ongoing and it looks like the grace to finish it is not there I stand by the Spirit of God and I declare God is not only called Alpha he is also called Omega if he starts a thing he can finish I declare the finishers anointing upon your projects in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray over your prayer life whatever has destroyed your spiritual fire the fervency the vigor to pray to travel until things shift i decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar by the way let me use the opportunity to encourage you as many of you who have not connected to the global prayer platform this is an opportunity this is an invitation on behalf of your pastor. It's an opportunity to help stabilize your spiritual life, your prayer life, whilst giving you an opportunity to receive. So you're not just receiving miracles, signs and wonders from whatever nation I want you to connect. It's a very prophetic platform in the mornings and afternoons. Am I right, sir? So 5 and 12. So 5 and then 12 that's the, the african time gmt plus one okay so gmt plus one 5 a.m and 12 noon you are here you've not connected connect by the spirit it was designed to help your spiritual life stay strong i decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of jesus ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them I pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of Jesus I declare Colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ The Bible says, and I will restore the years. Everything you have lost in time. Please believe this one. I stand again in agreement with Apostle Goodhart and his dear wife. And we declare over you and over the nations. In the name of Jesus, the grace that brings restoration. Drink of that grace. Drink of that grace. Supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online you have seen what God is doing in this house through his servant I stand in agreement every grace that you have seen upon his life that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward 
are we together now it says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent in the name of jesus i stand again with the angels over this house and i declare over your finances in a very strange way for the bible declares believe the lord your god so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of jesus we're almost done if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of jesus i speak over your life i declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of this conference death passes over you in the name of jesus christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ I pray for those who are in the music ministry in the name of Jesus I use this wonderful man of God who ministered what an amazing vessel you are in the name that is above all names I declare I use him as a point of where's the gentleman he's not here in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you my dear one you will step into unprecedented dimensions of grace in the name of Jesus and I use him as a point of contact anyone here who is in the music ministry genuine worshiper and you've not gained the kind of visibility that allows you to be a blessing and to be rewarded in the name of jesus we tear the veil and we announce you i release a hear ye him anointing upon you in the name of jesus find visibility we multiply your influence by the spirit in the name of jesus let me pray a prayer that god is putting in my heart i hope you don't see it as carnal there are people here the grace for territory is not yet on you you've been in this city for a long time but it looks like you have not gotten your own place i want to shift you by prophecy standing in partnership with the man of god you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you and they dug a well and the philistines covered it they dug another one they covered it then they dug the third one and they left them they called it rehoboth he said god has given me my own space i prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between now and the end of this year have your own space i give you your own portion in this city in this land in the name of jesus christ and finally we pray for everyone who is part of this vision the bible says a worker is worthy of his wages there are people who have served there are people who have given some of you are part of the partnership is it all right if i speak over your partner sir there are many of you who are part of this vision some of you god may be inspiring you to be part of the vision to connect even financially whatever whatever mode of participation i decree and declare 
first over the spiritual family of Rogic and by extension the sons and the daughters the mentees the prodigies in ministry and then all the friends all those who are connected to this vision as God lifts the man of God may you rise also as God honors him may you be honored also in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy to you step into prepared blessings in the name of Jesus step into prepared blessings in the name of Jesus let me also pray over your life whoever fights you from today we release a prophetic word in the air that any man who fights anyone connected to this spiritual family goes down instantly in the name of Jesus Christ you witness Reha IC 2021 we prophesy upon you the grace that will keep you until Reha IC 2022 receive that grace the only difference is that you will not come back the way you are now return ten times better return a thousand times better in the name of Jesus Christ I want to sincerely thank you sir thank you Apostle Goodheart Thank you so much. Now, I want to do something very quickly. I wanted to do it, but I was hoping the time. I promised in the morning I was going to pray for politicians. Can I keep that promise? Please, you are here and you are you are a, a member of parliament a government worker or you are standing in maybe your wife your husband please if you do not mind can you stand i want to speak a prophetic word please i want you to stand i want you to stand believing the days that are coming will require spiritual intelligence will require prophetic backing please stand please stand i want to pray for you i want to pray for you it was because listen it was through the power of parliament that daniel was almost frustrated the spirits of the medes and the persians came together through a parliament to enact a law are we together now that would stop prayers for a month that's on that's that's how short a time satan needs to wreak havoc over a territory in the name of jesus we agree over the politicians our senators our honorable members members of parliament or whatever political position you occupy and um, in the name of jesus number one the grace for service the grace for service with a difference we release it upon you number two we declare that you are supernaturally protected while you serve the nation in the name of jesus in the name of jesus number three we decree and declare supernatural wisdom wisdom upon you it was said of daniel that an excellent spirit was found in him we declare that you carry an excellent spirit in the name of jesus may the lord keep you and may the lord bless you as you continue to deliberate and enact policies that help this nation and by extension the continent of africa we speak wisdom we speak boldness you will finish strong in the mighty and the matchless name of jesus the lord bless you the lord grant you grace the lord protect you the lord preserve you in the name of jesus god bless you please be seated the last group of people i want to pray for there are, are prayer groups okay the prayer group and the church office staff please can you stand all the prayer groups someone is rejoicing church oh church please quickly 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 let's celebrate them the bible declares moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful please if you're coming let's hurry up our time is gone so that we can speak over your life i'd like you to give your best the prayer groups i don't know what mode of prayer you operate but i want you to be determined to do much for the kingdom more than ever before the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous the bible declares availeth much many of you have done your best you've stretched yourself from border to border there is need for a fresh grace i stand again in agreement with 
the man of God and we speak over your life you don't have to kneel but in the name of Jesus Christ the grace and the staying power in the place of prayer first for your own personal life receive that grace right now in the name of Jesus and then for those of you who lead those platforms whatever level of leadership receive grace supernatural grace under your watch and under your participation your prayer group will not die we give it life in the name of Jesus the impact apportioned for your prayer group in the name of Jesus that level of impact will be achieved and more in the name of Jesus listen to me the destroyer will not destroy you while you hold such a, a, a key responsibility in the name of Jesus whilst you lead people in prayer whilst you coordinate prayer activities I declare that your needs are met supernaturally be blessed in the name of Jesus I pray for those who walk in the church office in the name of Jesus grace for you as you serve the man of God as you see to it that the organization is doing well I declare that your life must also do well in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus the Lord cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus Christ what do you do you walk in the church office I prayed for you in the morning oh I'm just huh? oh yesterday did I give you a prophecy about a, a, a door that was opening to you because I'm seeing it again okay the Lord bless you it will happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. You can return back to your seat rejoicing. Welcome to Overcoming Daily Motivations. Thank you for being there as we spread the gospel to illuminate lives and save people from the oppression of the devil. We would like to bless you with our latest video sermon titled, Never Give Up. God is with you in the battle. Motivational video. Click the link in the description to watch it on our second motivational channel. Please click the link in the video description below to watch the video and also click on the second link to subscribe then hit the bell icon to turn on all notifications just so you don't miss out whenever we upload and finally like and share to be a blessing to others also thank you and god bless you we wish you a prosperous 2021 in jesus name